In Kenya, Islamic militants stormed a college and targeted Christian students. 13 hours later, at least 147 people are dead. Kenya is fighting a terrorist group called Al-Shabaab, based next door in Somalia. And Deborah Pata is on the story. Students were jolted awake by the sound of gunfire as a heavily armed gunman shot their way past the university's main gate and stormed the campus dormitories. Eyewitnesses said the gunmen fired indiscriminately at first before beginning a deadly march from room to room, demanding to know if those inside were Muslim or Christian. Police said some Christians were shot on the spot. Terrified students tried to escape. We were hearing and seeing the gunshots, but we were not seeing the people themselves. The people were shooting at us. Some students were taken hostage, but it is unclear how many, and many remain unaccounted for, possibly trapped inside college buildings. At least 65 were rushed to the hospital, mostly with gunshot wounds. The Somali-based militant group Al-Shabaab has claimed responsibility for the attack. The university in Garissa is only 90 miles from the Somali border. Al-Shabaab's Islamic extremists have struck Kenya before. One of the worst attacks was in 2013 when militants rampaged through the upscale Westgate shopping mall. Trapped shoppers were asked to recite verses from the Quran. Anyone who couldn't was executed. The attack left 67 dead. Tonight, the Kenyan government named Mohamed Kuno, a high-ranking Al-Shabaab official, as the mastermind of the university attack. It placed a bounty of $217,000 on him. Garissa University did send letters to the students warning of a possible attack, but it appears no additional security measures were taken. There were only the regular university guards manning the gates, and campus life continued as normal. Deborah Pata reporting for us from South Africa tonight. Deborah, thank you.